and welcome to Acts of the Month. This month we have a 12 string acoustic by a company called Crafter. Um, I don't know much about them. I was living in Amsterdam. A friend owed me some money. I had forgotten about it. I didn't tell them that. Um, they gave me the cash and to avoid me spending it on beer, I decided to buy a 12 string guitar. Everybody ends up with a 12 string guitar. If you have an electric and a six string and you have that thing where you want to buy more things, guitarists buy a 12 string um, because it's something to buy, right? Now, a 12 string guitar, for those that are scared, uh, is a normal guitar, but then the bottom, let me get this right, four strings, the lowest four strings, have another string which is an up, up an octave. And then the B and the E, the highest two strings, have strings in unison with them. So complicated. So when you strum it, you treat the double strings as one string. So it's just like playing a six string, but there's two strings under your finger. But because they're so close together, it kind of works. So two strings ring at once, creating what is known as a chorus effect. When two things play at quite close frequencies, it plays around with the ear. So it creates this beautiful melodic noise. And that's basically it. And herein lies the problem. It's a one trick pony, you go, oh, that's quite cool, it's a 12 string. Um, and that's the trick over. Um, it's probably my least played guitar, but you always kind of keep it around because you think, well, what if I need a 12 string? When you try and record it, acoustic guitar, although it's really, really ubiquitous, um, it's everywhere is actually quite difficult to record because it's quite, guitar in general is quite difficult to record because it's a, a very wide sound in the EQ spectrum. Bass is dead, dead easy because it just goes bow, right? A very simple sound wave. Um, acoustic guitars, quite a complicated sound wave. 12 string acoustic guitars, even more complicated sound wave. There's so much going on. Well, I'll do that again. That's the technical term. Um, there's so much of that going on that um, it can be quite hard to tame in a mix. So you tend to kind of shrink it down and sink it to the back of a mix, um, which defeats the purpose in having it in the first place. So you quite often see bands that will kind of add a 12 string acoustic in to look folky or cool or esoteric or weird or whatever then you actually listen to the mix and you can't hear acoustic never mind 12 string acoustic because it's been shrunk so so far down that's even more so the case if you watch it being played live um because it's inevitably played through a di um which makes it sound terrible um you Pickups and DIs on acoustic guitars generally don't sound that great. The expensive ones sound good. There's not specific ones to a 12 string, so you just end up with this muddier sound of the thing that's meant to be acoustic. So you can't really play them live, or it's pointless playing them live, other than to look great because you have all these extra tuning pegs up top. It looks so complicated to the non-guitarist. Um, but it's it's quite nice, it's quite, it, it, when you, you strum away. You fall in love with it and you think, that's oh, a lovely, warm, happy sound. There's that chorus effect going on. I should really like write more happy folk music. Then you just go and write what you were writing anyway and the 12 string goes back in the wall. This isn't worth enough to get rid of, uh, but it kind of hangs on the wall. It very often gets recorded for 
uh, songs and then quite often gets ditched. Um, the most frequent way that it's recorded is as big crashing chords at the background of the mix. So you just go. So it kind of has to be a feature, it kind of has to be on its own for you to notice it. Now, after a lot of years of that being my opinion of 12 string guitars, I discovered that there is a, another extra wee bit of info, which is something that I always tell musicians because so many of them don't know this and it's quite surprising. If you take off the original ones, the original strings, you end up with what you call Nashville tuning or high strung guitar. which gives you some of the feel of a 12 string, but without that muddy jangliness that's hard to tame in a mix and hard to put in a mix. <laughs> More on Nashville later, right? So, it sits about. It's a good extra guitar. For a truly unusual effect, uh, you can solo on it. So you get this kind of acoustic version of what an octave pedal does, um, which is unusual. Um, but fun in, in, in a very niche kind of way. Um, for this reason, the even more strange guitar is the electric 12 string which you very rarely see and um, which the Beatles used the birds used um i have hovered over an electric 12 string several times i think you could add things from a recording perspective <laughs> if anyone would really like to swap a 12 string acoustic for a 12 string electric drop me a line um but i've never actually played an electric so i don't know um the 12 string remains elusive as to its its function. It's often brought out, but rarely utilized, if that makes sense. When you're having a wee jam, it does add a wee extra. If you've got someone playing six string, then you've got someone strumming away on the 12 string. Um, but I would strictly say that that's an acoustic jam. When you add it to any size of ensemble, it becomes pointless. It's here for show. It's it's I can't describe it. It's for it's a third guitar. Um and who really needs more than two? Um if you have a, a an acoustic intro to a big song, it's worth having a look at. That's quite nice. Um this particular one, I know very little about Crafter. Um I should really have Googled them. Um it was bought in Dirk Vita, um Derek White for the English um, in Amsterdam on the Weisselstraat um, it was the big music shop I don't know if it's still there I gave them some amount of money in my 10 years in Amsterdam so where it really comes alive and where I, I definitely don't um, do this often enough because it takes so long is uh, to tune it to some obscure tuning um, which in most cases I think are, are way overused but as soon as you add that to a 12 string it becomes um, something else I think that's one for retirement because it just takes forever to do and that's just low ones a wee bit out so that's a lot of fun I don't I, I don't know I don't know where I sit on the trail string can't get rid of it don't use it that often but
I'm just going to do that all day now. Mm-hmm.